Hey guys, it's SJ. I hope you've had a fantastic week so far. So I just got home from work a little while ago, hence the hat. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and freshen up because I have two auditions to film. And you know what? It happens to be storming. The thunder is here, y'all. The thunder is here. And I'm just really, really hoping that the storm doesn't progress at least not while I'm filming my self tapes because that would be very unfortunate. So anyways, gonna go ahead and freshen up and film these self tapes, which I really don't feel like filming right now to be honest, cause my back has been hurting all day, but we're gonna do it because on days like this where my back hurts and I don't feel like filming the self tapes, then I also ask myself, but would you feel like working on set? And the answer is a resounding yes. So we're gonna film these self tapes. All right, see you guys in a minute. what a self-tape setup looks like behind the scenes. Well, I'm gonna show you. So this, dun, 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 dun. this is the gray screen. And this is where the magic happens, where you film something. It's a self-tape, so you gotta be really in character. All right, I'm just being stupid. Yeah, so this is the background. This is where the self-taping happens. Mine is a huge gray sheet. Look at her, she's gorgeous. She's absolutely beautiful. And look at all that crap on the ground. And these are my clips that I use to keep it tight. However, it is a little bit wrinkly and it could be tighter. So do as I say, not as I do. I actually have like, mm, I can't count, like 10, 10 of these clips, something like that. This is my gorgeous, beautiful ring light. I used to have two shadow boxes, but one of them actually <laughs> broke. This is my tripod where I set up my phone. iPhone cameras actually have really good quality for self tapes. That has changed more over the past several years, but yeah, they work pretty well. And this sticky note is where I put my eye line most of the time. And it's on my cajon because I found that the cajon just really really held everything high together. Okay, so the thing about ring lights is that some casting directors don't really like for you to use them because they create this little orb in your eyes and it's a reflection of literally the ring light. Some casting directors don't like that because it makes you look like an alien. So you do you, but I have decided after taking, you know, more film classes and getting more feedback that I wanted to not have that be my only light. However, I still wanted to utilize it because I do have it. So I usually put it off to the side and I use the shadow boxes. Um, because I self-tape in my bedroom, I don't have my own room dedicated only for self-taping. If I use two shadow boxes and the ring light, it's too bright. So it kind of works out that I still use ring light because one of my shadow boxes broke. The light bulb is like this big and it just decided it wasn't gonna live anymore. And I haven't gotten around to replacing it because I've been doing well with these two for now. That's the thing about ring lights is you probably don't wanna have that be your primary light when you're auditioning. So yeah, this is my self-tape setup. There are definitely other self-tape setups out there that are better than mine. I have friends who have really good self-tape setups. I would love to improve mine, but that, you know, that does cost money. However, this is money that you are investing in your career. So I'm very grateful to have what I have. It did take me time to get all of this though. We'll be hopefully updating my self-tape setup and give you an updated video on that eventually. I will link below 
what I use so that you hopefully have a starting point and can kind of just compare and do your own analysis of what you think works. Thank you for following me today. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps me out and I'll see you next time. Bye.